Joining me now is Mark Janis. He is the plaintiff in the case and a child support specialist in the Illinois Department of Health Care and Family. Mark, thank you uh, for being with us. Um, tell us about your, first of all, you'll go down in history, not just because you had a Supreme Court case come down in your favor, but it was the last case that was decided with Anthony Kennedy uh, uh, on, the, on the bench, uh, at least the last major one. Uh, this was an important case to you. You felt that it infringed upon your First Amendment rights to have to have money taken off your paycheck every month to go toward a public service union. Yeah, that's absolutely correct because I did not get the chance or the opportunity to make a decision on my own and I didn't have the choice as a worker for state government in the public sector to say, uh, you know, why am I paying this fee and why, why am I doing this? It was mandated by Illinois law like there is in 22 other states and 5 million other public sector workers across the country. Do you, was it a personal uh, affront to you or is this a political or philosophical view that you have that unions shouldn't get to decide for you or spend your money or take your money? Well, I, I think you have to look at the First Amendment and the fact that the First Amendment is, is basically a contract with the people of the United States that says, I have the right to choose my freedom of association. And because I was mandated and coerced to pay this fee out of my paycheck without any knowledge uh, or thought of whether I wanted to or not, that to me is the personal part of it, and that's the part that I totally disagree with. Do you think that there is some benefit that public service unions bring to their employees through collective bargaining? That was the case, that was the argument, of course, that um, the, the people on the other side of this case were making. Well, I, I want to make the point right now that I'm not anti-union. I just believe that if you want to join a collective bargaining unit, such as a union, you ought to have that right. And you decide whether for yourself, whether you believe that union is doing the best for you or whether it's not. And the, the point uh, I make is that I didn't have that choice. You know, whether I agreed or disagreed if the union was good or bad, you know, I was still having to pay the fee and nobody asked me and I didn't have that, that choice to do that. There are a number of states that have so-called right to work laws and I know it's not exactly the same thing we're talking about, but the idea that you don't have to succumb to the requirements of a union in order to do your job. Um, there are some, these are the states that have right to work laws. Uh, th there are some who believe that this uh, Supreme Court ruling, if Congress so wishes to pursue this, might lead to a federal right to work law. Is that something that you think is a, is a good end goal? Well, that, you know, that's not, you know, that's not me for to decide. I mean, that's why we have Congress, uh, you know, and that's why we have our legislation. The, the main thing I want to put forth is the fact that, you know, like every American citizen, we have a choice. You know, we can go left at the street corner, or we can go right at the street corner, you know, or we can go straight ahead. And the fact that I had somebody telling me where I had to go and what I had to do was what was offensive to me. You satisfied with the ruling today? Oh, very much so, very much so. Um, you know, there have been cases uh, previously, you know, like the Friedrichs case in California that was decided, you know, on a 4-4 tie because uh, Justice Scalia passed away uh, shortly after the arguments. Um, I have to admit, after hearing some of the discussion this afternoon, that I'm very glad that Justice Kennedy decided to retire after my decision. <laughs> I sure did not want this to go on again and have to wait another, you know, and have to redo the case again. Jeff Rosen, I see you popped up on the screen again. I, I didn't didn't have Mark Janice this morning when you and I had the discussion about this. You know, a few hours ago, the biggest news out of the Supreme Court was, in fact, the Janice uh, dis uh, decision. But with Mark here, uh, do you have a question for him? Because the question I asked you earlier, Jeff, is what ultimate impact this has, this ruling has. A few hours ago, this was the biggest thing I thought in the news. Well, I, listening to Mark Janus, I think Justice Kennedy would be proud to have his one of his last decisions be the idea that the government can't uh, force you to embrace speech that you disagree with. And so many of his decisions had that theme from the one striking down mandatory graduation prayers, of course, to um, the Masterpiece Cake and Citizens United uh, case. So I guess I would just ask Mark a question I know that uh, Justice Kennedy would ask, which is, why is it wrong for the government to force you to embrace embrace a message that you disagree with? Well, I think it's wrong from the standpoint that, you know, you, you've got the First Amendment, you have that freedom of association uh, that's given us to us by the, you know, the, the First Amendment, you know, and but yet I was not given that. Um, I, I didn't have the choice as to whether I should pay or not pay. Uh, it's a matter of, you know, you're going to pay regardless whether you believe in it or not believe in it.
Mark Janis. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Jeff. Well, well said. Just to note that the strong arguments on the other side by the liberals are that you're not forced to endorse political views, but just the process of collective bargaining. But I do think it's fit and appropriate that this was one of Justice Kennedy's last opinions. It is an well, important Mike, discussion. Yeah, yeah my, my point on this is, a, is the fact that in, in, the, in the situation that I was under um, and the fact that we have the mandated collective bargaining, which is what in the state of Illinois the unions asked for. They asked for this all-inclusive bargaining, and that's what they wanted, and that's what they got. And the fact that people like myself don't have that opportunity, you know, to uh, say yes or no, is what I think is the, is the main crux of the of the whole point here. Mark, congratulations on uh, your victory at the Supreme Court, and thank you for joining us right now. Mark Janis is the plaintiff oh, in Janis versus AFSCME. He's a child support specialist in the Illinois Department of Healthcare and Family.